Hey, we always live Elvis. Hey, Memphis Mafia Kid and... And Teresa. Hey, uh, hope everybody's, uh, having a good start to their week. Uh, we <laughs> missed y'all. I'm still feeling bad, but, uh, it, it's, it's getting ready to happen, so get that over with. Before we get started, we got some, some more great questions today, y'all. Uh, before we get started, uh, got a couple quick shout-outs. JD from Scotland. Appreciate you, brother. And uh, Johnny and his gang from Moscow, Tennessee, with this beautiful cane that he gave me. And uh, y'all, I, I really appreciate it, love it. And, and, and you know, all, all the cars, the get wheels, the gifts, everything, y'all. I know how much love and how much it is. I'm so proud to have such a, a big Elvis family. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Teresa, if you're ready, we'll get started with some. All right, let's do it. The first one is from Doris Williams, and she wants to know, could y'all ride the horses when you felt like it without adult supervision? We did, uh, and we may have, I know we've talked about riding horses, and we may have answered that before, but, uh, you know, you may be a a newcomer, a new subscriber, and don't mind answering it again. But, yeah, we, uh, you know, did our best to, to, we knew how to, you know, saddle, and uh, although sometimes, you know, we wouldn't get it right. They'd come loose, and, you know, we might be riding on the side of the horse a little bit until we could go. But uh, we did. Uh, you know, some of them, you know, we would pet. Uh, we used to love going down there sometimes and just, you know, and, and pet them. And, uh, you know, some of them, you could, they would actually let you just get on their back and sit, and we'd just sit down there, you know, on their backs and, and uh, in the pasture and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't have to have any supervision. After a certain age, I'm sure. I mean, you have right. to be, Well, during yeah. those times, yeah. yeah. And Lisa, you know, there, you know, there was probably people always. Let me put it that way: peeping on us that maybe that we probably didn't know about. Uh, but most of the time, you know, she was with us, and you know, if we saddled it up or something, she got it, you know, and we, and if she wanted to ride, you know, she or uh, a lot of times, uh, just riding, we'd ride, and Mike McGregor would actually saddle, you know, Lisa's. Uh, pony or, or whatever she was going to be. Did she ride by herself or would she ride? No, she, morning? you know, after she's older, yeah, she'd, she'd ride by herself. So. Okay. All right, this question is from Keith M. 7087. <laughs> Danny, do you ever think Elvis felt trapped by always having people in the house? And do you think he might have been happier if he had the whole house to himself when he wanted to just chill out in various rooms? I don't know if the, uh, and that's a great question. I mean, I don't, I don't, know if the word trapped uh is the right word i mean it may be i i, I know elvis loved you know to have people around and know they was there and of course a lot of them you know he wanted there uh for security and and when he needed things and this and that uh but you know it, it's like we talked about but if elvis if he wanted privacy he would just have or else be up in his room with just who he wanted most of the time is the way that went. Uh, however, there was times, especially like I said, uh, around the last Christmas that uh, he wanted all of Graceland to himself were, you know, you know, and just who he wanted. Uh, so, I mean, if he, if he wanted it, I guess we'll use the word cleared out or, or, or empty with just who he wanted. You know, most of the time there was always somebody there. He wanted somebody there. Uh, but, uh, you know, but if he just wanted to, to move around his self comfortable and who he was with, then he would do it. So, I mean, that was just Elvis. I mean, when, when he was setting his way on what he wanted, that's the way it was. Great question, though. I love it. Okay, this one's from Rosemarie 20. How did Elvis's Graceland Estate get its name? Asking because you mentioned Graceland High School. Yeah, well, Graceland Junior High was school, and it uh, it had nothing to do, from what I understand, with with uh, with Graceland. Uh, it's the mansion itself, but uh, from the way I've always understood it, uh, it was named at, uh, for a lady named Grace Moore. I think the doctor that owned it. Uh, named it after her, and uh, y'all probably seen some old pictures. It was called Graceland Farms, uh, and you know Elvis, you know he didn't name it Graceland, but I mean it was such a beautiful name, and it just fit. Uh, and and 
you know, he he loved it, so that's he didn't, you know, try to rename it anything else. He just kept it. And it was kind of meant to be, it looks like, don't it? So I, 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 I'm sitting here thinking, don't come in, but, you know, to sit here and, and, and try to think of any other names, it just, it would not, uh -uh. you know. I mean, a lot of, you know, uh, you know, a lot of your millionaires and, and billionaires and stuff have, you know, uh, their places, you know, have certain names mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, like I said, I just couldn't imagine. I mean, Graceland yeah. just, you know, yeah. it just fit and uh, was perfect for Elvis, I think. Yeah, I do too. Okay, Ruth Jesse wants to know if we have other kids besides Danielle. We do. Uh Actually, when uh, Teresa had two children from a previous marriage, and, and, and of course I did, uh, from a couple marriages, and uh, we have, of course y'all know Danielle, she's the oldest, uh, and then we have, I had Paris uh, Smith, which is our oldest boy, and we had Jerrica, which is, like I said, actually, three, but uh, yeah. to us, they was all they're, ours. Yeah. But her and Paris are right at the same, they was born the same year. They're right at the same age. Yeah, Jerrica and Paris. And then our younger son, uh, Brandon, mm -hmm. uh, he just got married not too long ago. All of them is, uh, is grown, uh, married, and all of them have, uh, we have grandchildren by all of them except for Brandon and I don't think they'll, Melanie they'll, right I don't now, think they'll so. have children. I don't think they want them, but that's fine. Yeah, but that's a great... <laughs> Great question, but four, yes. four total. Yes. Okay, please tell me who, okay, this is from S Sandra Weber. Please tell me who Ira Smith is. My daddy's dad was Ira Smith, and my baby brother was named after him. Just wondering. Okay. It gets a little confusing, and you know what? That is a great question and gives me an opportunity to, to explain it out. Uh, Ira, and it was a man, uh, his name was Ira Ivy, and he was my daddy's mother, my grandmother Lorraine, was, uh, daddy, my daddy's granddaddy, and he was my great granddaddy, but he wasn't on the Smith side; he was on the Ivy side, on my grandmother's side. So, but hey, that's a great question, and and, and uh, glad I got to to explain it out uh, for you. Okay, Cindy Swift. Do you think Elvis was also a tuner, and does it run in the family? <laughs> it's a pig's butt pork. I mean, what do you think? Like, I mean, look, it runs right down through. The, my daddy tuned my mama like a fine fiddle. I bet he did. Uh, mm -hmm. And and, and, and it Tell just that went, to your mama. I mean, it just went through the bloodline. I mean, <laughs> like I said, uh, you know, if I was born to be anything, it was born to be a tuner. I mean, that's just all I can say on that. I'm not going to talk back this time because I know you don't feel good. And so that's my gift to you. So we'll, I'll let it stand this time. Bless you. Lord. Only this time. Okay. And last question is from Lil Pop Tart. Lil Pop Tart. I like that name. Lil Pop Tart. Lil Pop Tart. Yes. Lil Pop Tart. And Lil Pop Tart wants to know Did Elvis believe in aliens? Elvis, I, you know, and there again, we, we can say, I won't say believed in 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 aliens or other things but he kind of was i mean he was he, interested in the subject he was he... fascinated with uh life after i guess you would put it uh and 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 with what else could be out there i mean he was very open like uh like pretty much you know my whole family my mom and daddy uh you know, me and Teresa, uh, you know, uh, Danielle, Nola, you know, pretty much the whole family has had uh, experiences like, and we've talked about it, like with spirits and, or ghosts, uh, if you may. And, and he was, you know, same, I mean, uh, you know, mom and daddy have told, I know some stories, but they could probably tell so many, many more of the, how do you put it, the way out there things that. Uh, you know, maybe that a lot of people don't believe in, but he, uh, I think he did. I think he was, think so. he was very, very fascinated with, uh, mm -hmm. uh, with aliens. Like I said, life after death, uh, just, uh, you know, uh, you know, anything, spirits, just, you know, the weird, I guess you could well, say. And I'm fascinated. Because we talk a lot about it. I yeah. think on the alien thing, I think if, 
if you believe in God and you believe he can do anything, then sure, it's a possibility. Anything's a possibility. And that's the way I think. Right. Yeah. And this, I mean, each his own, y'all, and we're not, you know, <laughs> trying to sway anybody either way and, 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 and quote religion. But, I mean, if you think about it, you know, why would, you know, why would we, I mean, we know in our hearts, you know, like I said, that uh, God can do and create anything. And what's the point of this huge right. universe? Why would, why would we think or want to mm -hmm. think that we're the first or the last that's probably ever going to be created by God? I don't, I don't think so. But anyway, that's our thoughts on it. So, <laughs> y'all, uh, sorry if I ain't felt myself. Uh, I just hadn't, but I'm looking. Looking forward to uh, to getting this surgery done, uh, and the next time I talk to you uh, will be after I've had my surgery done, having it this week. So that y'all, I know all your prayers and all. After, like I said, I appreciate it. Thank you. Subscribe if you hadn't subscribed, and uh, just hang in there with us, and we'll be back. But remember, and it'll be through me all the way through of sleeping. Uh, in my heart and my mind and, and the spirit. We always, always live those.